Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl R.S. Lewis, a.k.a. The Insomniac Writer. And today I have another trailer reaction. I'm looking at The Monkey. It's based off a short story by my man Stephen King. Love me some Stephen King. Yo, unbeknownst to everyone, before I decided that I wanted to go and be a writer, even though I haven't been writing much, I suffer from dyslexia. And I decided one day to pick up Night Shift. And then eventually I got my hands on a book called Selim's Lot, which was not something I probably should have been reading at that time, but I read it. And I was doing other little, like the kitty books with the cassette tape you put in the, in the, in the uh, Teddy Ruxpin bear. Damn! Shut up. I'm old. <laughs> Eventually, I started getting better at reading. I became a more proficient reader, and it is to my man Stephen King. Eventually, I got a taste and a liking for horror, as a lot of us 80s babies do. And I got into writing at some point, and the rest is history. But just wanted to give y'all that tidbit that no matter what gets in your way, just push it aside and keep on striding. You got this. So anyway, without further ado, get your chips and dips and all that other good stuff. I got water because I got to stay hydrated in these streets. And that was a long ass intro. So we're going to jump right into it. Remember, the monkey. Okay, so that was The Monkey. And if you're not familiar with the short story by Stephen King, this is an excellent teaser. You know it's horror. You know it's going to have some gore and some blood. It's directed by Osgood Perkins, who gave us long legs, which a lot of people were on the middle about. I didn't hate it. Yeah, the pacing at times was... I was trying to hang on, but the story was... It was okay. Like, Nicolas Cage was just amazing. I think that Osgood Perkins, personally, has the potential of being an a, amazing actor. I really don't doubt his skill and his eye. And he thinks outside the box. So, that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. Now, James Wan is no stranger to doing adaptations. So, he's producing this. And I think with that kind of shadowing or, or someone kind of like... To, to, to kind of guide uh, Osgood Perkins in with this particular story, I think it can be good. Now, that being said, we know that a lot of Stephen King adaptations have been done poorly in the past. A lot of people are like, mm, I don't know. This is, if you don't know, the short story is about a monkey, a toy monkey, just like you've seen here in the teaser, and it was possessed, and dude thought it was killed his family. Dad, you, you, you can... So, He's like, I want to get rid of it, and then he... You can, you do, you wait. It disappears, and then appears, you know, shit. You want, you, you can... Inanimate objects, doing shit. So, that's basically the premise of this. The cast looks pretty good. Speaking of which, I'm going to jump into that cast. We have the delicious and delectable Theo James, also known as... Theodore Peter James Kennard to something. I don't know how to say that last name, but he fine. He was in Divergent. I didn't know what the hell was going on, but I was like, he fine. Yeah, it's been a while. And then he was in the Underworld stuff, and I was like, mm, <laughs> I like vampires. I'm sorry. Lord have mercy. We have Elijah Wood who needs no introduction. We're about the same age, so we grew up together. Not He don't know me, but I grew up watching him on screen growing up with me. 
I used to think he was so adorable when I was like a little little kid. Like we were like when I was like eight, I thought we thought he was just the cutest thing on on TV. Like I remember he had a small sin in Back to the Future, and I didn't realize it until I went back and watched it later. But one of my favorite films is <laughs> I believe it was The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin. I don't know why. Don't judge me. I like that movie. He's in that was it Gone Daddy something some movie I watched him like he's been doing more disturbed stuff. A lot of people know him from The Lord of the Rings, but I like I said grew up watching him and on stuff when I was younger. Flipper, y'all remember that with the dog? God, I'm old. Simmons is old. <laughs> Moving on, we have Tatiana Gabrielle Maslany and. I don't hate this actress. I like her. I think she has such a cute, adorable face. She played the She-Hulk. And a lot of people gave her flack on it. It wasn't her fault, man. It wasn't her fault, okay? People wasn't ready for She-Hulk. And I think because they they oversaturated a lot of the feminist types of stuff. And it wasn't her. That was the script she was given. But again, it was relatable because I'm a female. But at the same time... It was a little heavy. It was, it's it's kind of like, like, all right, I get it. I think it. Moving on, we have, who else is in here? Rohan Campbell. Another person that people shit on because of him. He was in Halloween. He was in a recent adaptation of the Hardy Boys. And then he played the infamous Curry on Halloween. And people shitted on him. But I thought about it. Yo, he did some crazy shit when he was in that movie. Like, you think about it, you got to respect the gore and the kills in that movie. Especially, what's his face that got famous on Instagram? The Karan, King Karan. His his scene in the DJ, that part was vicious. And I was like, I didn't expect it. You know what? They gave him a lot of flack. Stop harassing these actors when they play in movies and TV shows and you don't like them, it's just that people get really caught on the you know, specifics and certain movies and properties and like you got these diehard fans and whatever. He look, he did he worked with, with the best that he was given. His character, if you took that character out of that movie and it wasn't it had shit to do with Halloween, take away Michael Myers, or it could have just been one of those um, anthology type of things that they were attempting to do with part three and he just he just a kid that went crazy like that scene that happened in the beginning with the little young boy that actually he deserved I said wait a minute wait wait a minute I mean I'm not saying he deserved it it was his own fault put it like that because you fuck around and you find out and then yeah, yeah now you look like a damn Bavarian pretzel but the point is, is that some shit like that, yeah. And then everything that happened to him following that, he had a bright future ahead of him. And it was one little shitty ass little, oops, excuse me, kid that caused that problem and then his life is ruined. So that being said, I understand, bro. You know, he goes to jail. Who knows what happened to him in jail? Oh, he he doesn't have the most menacing look to him in the movie in the beginning. And it's like, damn. He probably got shit happened to him, Joe. He come home, people, the people in the town mean to him. I would have flipped out, put a mask, and, and went crazy too. F all of y'all was an accident. Oh. You need to leave. Anyway, this is not a Halloween Kills ends review, but he's going to be in it. Moving on, we got Sarah Levy. You know her from Shit's Creek. That's, that's what we know her from. <laughs> that's my show. I'm one of the late bloomers to that show. I just got, I didn't get into the show until like maybe, I want to say season two or three, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that, mm, about it. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. So also, also, who else we got in here? We have Laura Manel, Colin O'Brien. Danica Dreyer. We also have Zaya Newton and Kingston Chan. Oh, wait a minute. Christian Covery is in this as well. Uh, and I, I recognize that per, the, the Christian Covery from the show that's on Netflix that my daughter, she be watching. Sweet Tooth. Oh, darn. Somebody done grew up. So, yeah, they, we have a, a couple of notable casts in here. Again, if you're not familiar with the short story, I tried to give a spoiler-free whatever <laughs> synopsis. What was that? But this is how you do a teaser. And you know what I like? I noticed 
You know, back in the day, we had trailer voiceover guy. Nowadays, you got this thump, this over, like, bass, doom. And then it goes into whatever it is. Anytime it's a horror thriller or whatever or suspense, doom. Then you got music, and then the music simps and, and changes in, 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 in the tone. And then you might have some some uh, caption on the screen, and then you'll have some other stuff. Y'all might as well just bring back in the world. But anyway, what did you think of the teaser for Monk? Uh, did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you going to go check it out? I like the short story. I think this is going to be good. I have faith in Osgood Perkins, James Wan, as well as this cast. So I am going to go see it. But regardless, y'all already got, got a whole bunch of yibbity yabbity or what I think. Leave your comments down below because what else are you going to leave them? And before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, and... Hit that bell so you can be notified of other videos and stuff. And that's about it. This hits theaters next year, February 2025. So we'll get definitely more of a heads and tails. Or we might not. Because Long Legs got another trailer. I think I got two trailers. And it didn't give any shed any light on what the hell was about to what this movie's about to be about. But me, I already got the insight because I already know what it's about. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. I'm your girl, R.S. Lewis, a.k.a. The Insomniac Writer. Be awesome, be you, but above all else, love yourself. And I'm out.